Welcome back. I'm so excited to be joined now by the executive director of the Challenger Learning Center in Bangor, Kirsten Hibbert. Thank you for joining Hello. us. Hello. And the girls are here, Evie and Lillian. We're here for the latest edition of Science is Cool. It's been a little bit since we've been <laughs> together, so I'm so excited to get our science on today. And we have some snow today. Yes. So before winter passes us by, I want to do a cool experiment about the volume of water. So frozen water, okay. room temperature water, warm water, and water molecules. So, in front of everybody, I've brought beakers, and then in each beaker, kind of in front of each person, they're different sizes, but they're equal yeah. amounts, warmish okay. water. This is just kind of warm water, just from the sink, and snow. So go grab the snow in case you have just a little bit left in the yard. Oh, yeah. And what we're going to do is, yeah. we're going to pour the snow into the glass, but before we do, we're going to see do when water's a liquid or when water's in frozen, mm -hmm. you know, in, in snow, is it the same volume? Does so before we do it, we're going to take an estimate. So we're going to take our markers and mark where when we add the snow and it melts and all becomes water, where we think it will be. Will it be double? So like now I'm, I have 100 milliliters. Would it be 200 or would it be less? So I'm going to make a mark and make my estimate. You guys make your estimate. Okay. So does snow take up the same volume Make it as right water here. when it's a liquid? Do you think it's mm. gonna be more than this? So I have less? a black line of where the water starts. So I'm gonna take a guess with my blue marker it's here. The same. I'm gonna take a guess with my blue marker. Now you guys have red markers, so. Okay, you, gonna do, you wanna okay. do there? So we're gonna put the snow right, in here. So you think it's I gonna think stay it, there? Ooh, okay. okay, I like Evie's guess. So okay. she's made a red mark. So she thinks it won't be double. We'll just be actually a little bit. When you guys, you, you think you may, there may not be a lot of change. Yeah, she, okay. Yeah. All right, so this is a fun one. So we're gonna take our spoons. Now this snow's been sitting here for a little bit. We're gonna scoop all of our snow into our water beaker. Ooh, and see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I have a little bit of grass in mine. Mine, mine came from the yard. This mine is legitimate from the yard. snow. I can't get mine. <laughs> legitimate snow here. All right, and you can kind of, kind of almost pour it too. It can almost like you're gonna pour the oh, there snow. There we go. And it can probably Probably just yeah. plop right in. We'll kind of wiggle it. All right, let's oh, there break go. it up a little bit more with the spoon. All right, ooh, that'll be good. All right, let's try it now. Woo! There we go. Okay. Now, oh, now you want to dump the I rest in? I warmish water, so that snow's melting pretty fast. As it's no, melting. Okay. Oh, one. So when the water molecules come kind of at room temperature, it's pretty stable, but pretty in. kind of packed in, not moving around a lot. But when it's snow, it expands. The water molecules expand and kind of make a lattice pattern. And so it takes up more space. Whoa, our snow has melted pretty quickly. So you can kind of see my estimate. Wow, my estimate yeah. was this blue line right here. I started oh. at the black line my to the blue little, line. My estimate's Ooh. a little lower. Okay. Yeah, but not much. So not basically, much. when we added that snow, that equal of parts to snow to water, it didn't go double. It actually just a little bit more. You guys had some pretty good yep, guesses was just there. a little bit. You can see where it is. Yeah. And where she had her yeah. estimate. That's a pretty good estimate. Yeah. So that so really the cold. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you I can put, see that I when it expands, right it makes that lattice pattern and takes up a lot of volume when it is snow, when it's frozen, when water's frozen. That's Man, you guys are good. That's really cool. That is super cool. <laughs> Science is cool. That's and the point, right? This is an easy one to do at home. Could try over and over yes. again. Even try a lot of different volumes. Yeah, I love this. This is great. Maybe different liquids and different kind of containers. Oh, yes. The, yeah. the possibilities are really endless, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, Evie, what do you think about this experiment? Um, Triple thumbs up, but I don't have three hands. Okay, I can add one for you. Triple thumbs up. How about you? Uh, a hundred thumbs up. A hundred thumbs up. Oh, this is a good one. I love it. Grayson, thank you so much. If you'd like to see this one again and do this with your own kiddos, you can head right over to our website. Click on As Seen at 4 p.m. and it'll be right there.